No giant spiders? Fuck yeah. Nah, don't do that. Definitely don't fucking do that. Nice, no giant spiders. Yeah, mealworms. I like the worms. Not a fan of the giant fucking spiders. I just wasted a shotgun shell as well. Whoops. Probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Alright, now we're in the cemetery. And now that we're in the cemetery, I remember zombies coming up. As you do. Return of the Living Dead style. Yep, there they are. Right on cue. Dicks. Stay. And then we come in here, and what do we- what? Raccoon Park Cemetery, yeah. Where do we get the cemetery key, then? Or am I dumb? No. Go away. Use well. I could probably dodge these idiots, but I don't trust myself to. Oh, Rip Patrick, dude. Rough. Yeah, not too close, Joe. We all know what these zombies are capable of. Fuck off, gents. Where do I get the stupid key from? That I don't remember for shit. Maybe you have to go the other route past the Gamma Hunters in the little water bit. I do remember Gamma Hunters being there. The ones that are blue and they have like the frog mouths and they eat you and shit when you're like too low health. Which I'm gonna hopefully keep Joe from getting fucking gobbled if I can. This isn't a place for that kind of thing. If you want that kind of material, you can go up to Pornhub on your own time. I got better shit to do. I got zombies to kill, nemesises to shoot, stuff like that. Alright, so I guess we can't come this way yet. I thought we could. I thought we were supposed to go this way first and get something, but I guess not. Maybe it was the other way around. Oh no, that's right, because you have to go off the body and get the key for the- yeah. Alright, I remember. At least I think I do. Fuck off. Nice. Good jukes, Jill. Although there was that part where I juked Nemesis like six times in a row like a fucking absolute god when I was at like no health. Which I have no idea how I did, by the way. But I did. And it's on video. But also there's, you know, where Nemesis shot me with rockets and killed me too. So. Right. Open the gate. Go down to the watery bit with the Gamma Hunters. Don't worry about the Gamma Hunters, just fuck off, leave them alone. Let them do their thing. Go on. Yeah, this bit. This part really reminds me of a Resident Evil outbreak, a little bit. I think you know why as well, all the swamp stuff. Yeah, fuck off, leave them alone. No, I'm not getting eaten by fucking hunters. Fuck off. God, they're fast. I should probably kill them. I'm not gonna waste that much health running by them again. I didn't think they were that quick. Of course they're that quick. Fuck off. Unbelievable. Heal. Heal! Pressing menu, you fucking stupid bitch! You wanna fucking do it sometime this week? Dumbass. Pieces of shit! Unreal. I kept trying to open the menu to heal myself so I didn't die, and she just kept deciding to dodge for no reason. Not my fault. That was all Jill right there. It's almost like she wanted to die. Idiot. Fuck off. What?! How are you not dead? Shit wipe. Fuck me. Assholes, I fucking hate those things. Pricks. Taking the part key. Written order to the supervisors. Mission requirements, kill all the fucking hunters. Bravo 16. 1. Obtain and secure sample of the information- What? Pertaining to this case. Observe and record combat data on the UBCFs. Destroy all the evidence, including the medical facility, that has the medical treatment data. Check the guinea pig's ability to accomplish the mission. Once your mission is complete, evacuate the area. Remember that you must not help anyone who is not a supervisor, nor bring anything back that might trace, be traced to where it belongs. All right. Almost better at killing hunters than I am breeding, and both abilities are questionable. At best. Magnum rounds? Fucking magnum rounds. See, I remembered the magnum rounds. Is this where the park key goes, or is this the cemetery key? 
Yeah. It's locked. Use the key, dickhead. Or is it the wrong key? Might be the wrong key. It's the wrong key. Brilliant. So if I examine the key, it should say it should say cemetery on it, right? It says Reckon Park Graveyard. Brilliant. That's all I needed to hear. And then we have to work our way past the Gamma Hunters and hopefully not get Jill eaten. Although she is a Jill sandwich. She is a tasty looking snack. By today's standards. I think this game out came game came out in 1999. She was pretty tasty back then as well. Come on, you fucks. One. One is not enough to kill a Gamma Hunter. Fuck off. They're supposed to be like improved, better super hunters, really. Alright. Brilliant. Right, so let's go to the cemetery. Open the thing with the key. Get in. Do all our inventory bullshit there. And then I'm gonna save it again because I'm pretty sure there's a rough fight after that and I have to take a piss break for a minute. Because I've been sat here for like four hours. Just running around doing fucking. I am so nothing. happy! Because I'm an idiot. Royale with cheese, what a name. Welcome. Thank you very much for your, uh, for your follow there. Sorry I'm fucking taking forever to do simple shit. Because I'm dumb. No giant spiders. Eels, that's fine. I can deal with eels. I can't deal with the giant massive eight foot spiders. Fuck that. Don't do both. Fuck that. Definitely don't do that. Why are these eels even in the game? Like, is that lore? Because they're not even a valid enemy, really. They don't even do anything to you. Like, they don't even hurt you that much. These zombies, however, wherever the fuck they are. Around the corner? No cameraman? Not today? Brilliant. Thanks, cameraman. See, camera and I are actually, uh, on good terms in Resident Evil 3. Unlike Resident Evil 2, where he fucked me in the ass. Right, garden shed. Work shed. And then we get an item box in here, don't we? Brilliant, because I have to do a lot of inventory management right here, I think. Before I go out and fight the giant worm. Alright, so I'm going to leave you guys with this peaceful music for a minute, and then I'm going to go take a piss break, and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so to be honest, there's only one puzzle in the lab that I'm not looking forward to, and I'm pretty sure those of you who know Resident Evil 3 know which one I'm talking about. It's the one where you have to do the water levels, because my visual representation is not that good. So that might be a little bit of a shit fest as well, but hopefully not. Alright, so I want to free up a bunch of space so I can go out and do all the inventory bullshit that I need to. I want to bring the reload tool with me. Um, I can't remember what makes magnum rounds, but I want to make a fuck ton of magnum rounds, but I don't know how. Because I think you need to combine different powders and make D and then combine multiple Ds together, but I can't remember exactly what you have to do to make magnum bullets. Because something makes freezy rounds, something makes grenade rounds, something makes shotgun rounds, and something makes pistol rounds, but I can't remember what makes magnum rounds. Right. Um. I think I'm just gonna combine these together, and then combine those with that. 46 shotgun shells, brilliant. And I'll just combine these, and then I have enough pistol ammo to kill anything, pretty much. Oh, I can't combine anymore. Alright. And then we have to take this, and then we have to knock out the fireplace. I remember that. And then there's a whole bunch of uh, weird mechanical shit back there that Umbrella was using. But if we do that, it triggers the thing to happen, I'm pretty sure, and then we're automatically pushed into a cutscene. So I'm gonna come back in here, gear up, I'm gonna save again. 
just to make sure we're like completely prepared and I don't lose any progress if the worm happens to kill me, which has happened before. Not gonna lie. It's happened before. I really hope it doesn't, but magnum rounds are definitely coming with me. So worm's getting a shit ton of magnum to the face. I haven't used my magnum throughout the whole game, so I think it's fine to pull it out for this. Reload tool I can put away. Don't need. Pistol, I think I think railgun's right. I think I don't need the pistol at this point. Even for the zombies, I'm pretty sure I can just go ham on them with the shotgun and be fine. So I'm pretty sure I don't need to be as conservative as I think I do at this point. So let me get the ink ribbon. Just right there. I don't know why it's infinite, by the way. Unless you get infinite saves on easy mode. Which you probably do. Which is disgraceful that I've already died on easy mode, but... Like I said, I'm pretty sure that Nemesis shouldn't have killed me with two rockets and one punch. I'm pretty sure even the people that know this game quite well can attest to that. I'm pretty sure, like, Nemesis shouldn't have killed me with that much damage from full health. Hope you're doing well, bro. Just gonna lurk. Very, very tired. No problem. No trouble at all. I appreciate you lurking. Just people being here and fucking listening to me whinge and fucking spout bullshit is good enough for me. Hopefully you enjoy your rest. When just blowing in from the back of the fireplace. Yeah, use the fucking pole, idiot. What? Oh, I have to... Yeah, I have to light it with the lighter, that's right. So I need the lighter. Even though it says wind is blowing from the back of the fireplace, or it seems cold. So if it seems cold, you can automatically assume that the bricks are loose, which means you'd pry them out with the giant metal pipe that you have yet. Alright, well, whatever. We'll do what the game wants. Let's pull the lighter out. I forgot you had to light the fireplace first. Seems counterintuitive when you already know what to do, but whatever. It's fine, the game doesn't expect you to know that. Yeah, no problem. Cool, arson. We can add that to our list of crimes, Jill. Although it is a fireplace. You no longer need this lighter, will you discard it? Yes, brilliant. Now I don't have to go back into the room. Put it in the box. Sick. Maybe Jill could have used her fucking insane triple D rack to fucking break the bricks down, huh? Instead of using the giant metal pipe? That's a cool sequence. I forgot about that entirely. What is this? Will you take the park key? Absolutely. Nikolai had the park key all along, didn't he, prick? Yeah, we'll take those. Damn right we will. We'll read the note as well. Supervisor's report. The endurance ability of the contaminated guinea pigs is truly incredible. Even when shot in a vital area, they can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the virus, the guinea pig's intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving the dead seems too disgusting, the virus may still be of use. If we inject the virus into our POWs and release them, they would return to their units and then turn into zombies. This plan may work well for us in the future. Yep, bio-warfare. In certain areas, the virus seems to have caused a mutation of animals and plants. It may be difficult, but it'll make a good sample for the bioweapon development. I've heard that there's a giant alligator, but I've only encountered a giant creature moving underground. I don't even want to imagine what creature spawned. That monster. I encountered Nemesis. If I didn't know about it, I'd have been contaminated and would have become one of them by now. If it is still walking around in the city, its mission is not yet over. Stars members must be very tough, since they've survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. Yeah, you're telling me. Especially when he fucking rocked my ass in the garden. Like a fucking hurricane. Scorpion style. Another note. Brilliant. Facts from the HQ. Attention. The Raccoon City Police Project has been abandoned. I can't read. Raccoon City Project has been abandoned. Excuse me. Our political maneuvering in the Senate to delay their plans are now futile. All supervisors should evacuate immediately. The U.S. Army is going to execute their plan tomorrow morning. The city will be obliterated at daybreak for sure. Alright. Brilliant. Now that we've had that, set to the auto-receive mode. Yeah. Oh, did we just have to, like, check that out and now we fuck off? Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought was supposed to happen when I checked it. All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors, return immediately. Over. Jill's like, what the fuck is going on here? It's like, what do you think? Idiot, you know when they figured out Wesker was an asshole in Resident Evil 1? It's the same deal. 
You don't I'm think these people will be so gullible. Up until now. But they are. Totally gullible. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How no shit. Helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Insanely bad dialogue, by the way. detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Pretty much. Not They're just exactly. taking combat data. Although the conditions encountered on this what they do. Were extreme. It was an unexpected they do that to reinforce what they make out. so that it's the best product we possible for warfare, pretty much. Live data from the yeah, there you go. So, ah! Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Another mutant. And then Nikolai fucks off. Yeah, leaves Jill to deal with it. He's like, oh, this is a you problem. I'm fucking going away. Bye. Oh, I guess we can't. Alright, I do not doubt that I have enough magnum rounds to put this thing in the ground for, like, good. I know it comes out of the ground like a fucking tremor, but I think I have enough rounds to put it to sleep pretty much permanently. What I am worried about is the health, though. I don't know if I have the health for it. Hopefully I do, though. And if I don't, I can just die over and over and over again until I have, you know, a good enough run to get past it. Where there's a will, there's a way. Especially if you have a magnum with, like, 40 rounds. And you have boobs as big as Jill's. Where were her giant tits in fucking Resident Evil 1? It's like she went through an insane character development in between games. What's going on? Whoa! Yeah, whoa, no shit. <gasps> this in the remake better be fucking amazing. It's a giant penis worm, of course. Thanks, Resident Evil. Are we in caution? Yeah, we're in caution. I better take a heal, because sometimes it can smack you once to dead, because it hits you twice in a row sometimes. Nice roll. I don't know if I hit it then. Shit. Nice roll again. That definitely hit it. That dodge mechanic is really fucking sick. Joe, quit aiming! What is she aiming for? Open the fucking menu, dumb shit! Pressing Y for fuck's sake. Nice roll. This thing is super fucking dead. Yeah, get fucked. I didn't even get hit. I don't think. I'm pretty sure I went that whole time. No, I took one hit. Because it put me into caution. That was a really good fight. I thought that was going to go way worse than that. Thanks, Magnum. Magnum definitely made that more manageable. Love that fucking thing. Brilliant. Right, that was the giant worm fight. Easy peasy. I dodged a lot of it. That was pretty nice. I didn't think I was going to do that anywhere near as smoothly as I did. Fantastic. No! Worms. Oh yeah, now I have the park key. That's right. Also, thank you for no massive spiders, Resident Evil. That's fine. Give me the suck all you want. I don't care. As long as there's no massive spiders. Get off. You've had enough. I wouldn't want to get off, though. If I was sucking on Joe. Take that any way you want. I don't give a fuck. The answer still remains yes. Right, get up. What's she wearing? She's wearing spats, right? Like spats, a sweater, and then like a tube top, I think? It's a pretty sexy outfit. No, that's not. That's not sexy at all. Fucking zombies. Fuck off. There another one? Yeah. Had a feeling. Easy worm? Yeah. Jill's great at conquering worms, huh? A little bit. Must be the tube top and the fucking tight shorts. No more Gamma Hunters. I killed the two that were here. Yeah. I think there's dogs in the park now, though, if I remember right. It's either zombies or dogs. One of the two. Nothing, really. I don't buy that. Maybe I do. No, it's completely safe. Fuck yeah. Nice. 
Literally a walk in the park. Like, a literal walk in the park. Imagine that. Right, get rid of the padlock. Fuck off. You no longer need it. Yeah, discard it. So I think Resident Evil 2 took me, what, three and a half hours? This is already taking me half an hour longer than that. Nothing? Alright, yeah, Nemesis comes back here, doesn't he? She's like, oh, you've got to be kidding. No. Yeah, no shit. This is sick, though. Check this out. Watch this. You want jukes? I'll give you jukes. Check this shit out. Push him off? Yeah. Duck. Yoink. Fucking yeet. Run like fuck. Insane. Pog champ strats by Jill. Literally thinks on her feet. Fucking mad woman. Genius. And now we're in the lab. So, for those who don't know, whenever you play a classic Resident Evil game and you get into the lab part, you're coming to the end of the game, pretty much. So the lab is pretty much the final bit. Treatment control room, it's locked. Brilliant. So I remember there's something we have to go do with an ID card, we have to scan it or something like that, and then there's a water puzzle that we have to do. Carlos. This Jill, is the room I wanted. Listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Including Nemesis? Positive. Doubtful. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks? No shit. Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. Haven't you ever heard of no survivors? Pretty much. Ah, damn it. Alright, I'm gonna read that. I'm sorry. I didn't know if I actually picked it up. What was that? Manager's diary? Manager's report? That's not what I want. Manager's diary. Here we go. April 25th. Today's my 30th birthday. I was transferred to this facility today. I'm very happy because the work environment is very different from life in the university. May 14th. The disposal system has been completed. Using a special kind of gas, it can decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. We have to try this out before beginning practical usage of the system since it is not 100% stable yet. May 20th. While I was checking the treatment room, the door shut and I was locked inside. I couldn't get out for one hour. I guess even if you have the keycard, it's useless when you're locked inside. June 7th. The guinea pig says... What? The guinea pigs we have to dispose of are increasing. The system is not working smoothly. Laboratory staff doesn't listen to my opinions, and I'm getting extremely frustrated. Yeah, jot it down in the journal. Can't dispose of all the bodies, and the quality of the liquid medicine is not good enough either. July 29th. Though the function of the system decreases, the number of the bodies we have to dispose doesn't. The infection level is increased, and the antibodies we are using is no match for the new mutation of the virus. Some of the workers have been infected by the disease. I've continued to work, but I always keep a gun with me. I must remember to save one bullet for me. I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I swear that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful the death will be. Sucks for you, dude. Fucking ripperoni for the manager. What is this? Facility key. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna save like one more time for now, and then I'm gonna drop one more save later on. But these are the last two saves of the game, I promise. I've already saved six times, that's pretty abysmal. For easy mode as well, but I haven't played this game in a long fucking time, so I don't really give a shit what my rank is. Don't really care, honestly. Can't believe I used to speedrun this when I was like 12 years old. Fucking unbelievable. Crazy. It's hard to think about, especially how poorly I'm playing it now. Oh yeah. I remember the steam puzzle. I remember this. What's up, Bill? Welcome back. Will you push the switch? Yes. That shuts this off. Although, I don't think I have to do this yet. I think you have to do this later when you get an MO disc, but I can't be sure. Okay, that made that. Do that. Oh yeah, because I gotta press this one down here, don't I? That'll turn that off. And then I gotta turn on this one. And that turns this one off. Now I should be able to go all the way around, yes? Yeah. Come on, then. 
Yeah. This controls the power for the safety system. It's set to standby mode. Yeah? Do we have to do that now, or did we have to do that later? Power's been supplied to the safety system. We had to do it now. Fuck yeah. Nice. Good call on my part. Because if you run into the steam, it's really hot, and Joel goes, ah! Takes a step back for a minute. Brilliant. All right, there's blue herbs in here, but I don't think I need them. I think I need something for this. Yeah, I need a card key for it. I had a feeling. All right, so now that I've done that... I gotta remember how the fuck to get to that door I unlocked, because, to be honest, I really don't remember. Now I have the card key, though, I think. Brain suckers? Yeah. Thought I remembered them being out here. You've used the facility key. Brilliant. Right. So. Camera. I can't tell how far away they were. I just figured I'd pull the trigger and see what happened. I still have the magnum on me. I probably should have put that away. Just to conserve space, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, fall over. Fucks. Alright, green herbs. What can I do with these? I'll take one for now, and then I'll leave these other two here. I'll come back and pick them up later if I have room. So I'm assuming there's a whole bunch of shit I'm gonna have to pick up. The MO disc, I think I can leave here for now. I don't think I need it. The map I don't really give a shit about. I never look at the map anyway. It's locked by a system. What? Didn't I? System power, okay. Water check error. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to go do the water puzzle to be able to get through that door. That's right. So then we have to scan the key card so we can do the water puzzle, and then we have to do the water puzzle to set the levels of water for the filtration, filtration system, I think. Luckily, this is a one-way elevator. So we can only go, like, one or two floors. That's fine. Limits my options. Fuck's sake, you fucking asshole. Get off. You would. You fucking would. Cunts. Pieces of shit. Poisoned as well. Fuck me. Back upstairs, I guess, because the game wants to fucking cheat. And put enemies right outside the elevator like an ass wipe. Not my fault. I did dodge it too, I heard the noise and then it grabbed me anyway because it did another move like immediately. It's kind of bullshit, whatever. That's fine, it's just a little bit of backtracking we have to do. Kind of annoying, but whatever. That's why I have blue herbs. I'm not dying to fucking brain suckers, I'm not, I'm not putting Jill through that. She may get rocketed and tentacle fucked by Nemesis, but I'm not letting her get her brain sucked out by fucking weird Koopa fucking Ninja Turtles. Seems rather evil if I put her through that. Right, where's all my blues? Never thought I would get poisoned in my fucking life in this game. Oh, I had a mixed herb on me. I could have just used that. Prick. Damn it. Jill! Fucking hell, woman. Idiot. I don't know why, but why is the menu button, but also for some reason it's the aim button sometimes. So like, it pops up in the menu and then sometimes it like, makes her aim over and over and over again. It's very weird. Alright, combine those two. We have a few heals, we should be right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, put the magnum back, we don't need it right now. Put that back. We have a ton of shotgun rounds. Shotgun is going to be enough to handle whatever the fuck we got to deal with, so we should be alright. Right, now we have to go back down the lift. Can't believe that. Can't believe I got poisoned. I didn't know brain suckers could poison you. Had no idea they could do that. Honestly, if I would have kept going, I probably would have found a blue herb and didn't have to come back, but I wouldn't have been able to use it by itself without a green anyway. So just in the event that we run into that situation again, I'm going to pick up one of these greens so I can combine it with a blue. So if I have to cure poison again, we can. Then I'm going to bring the system disc. Because I think I remember where the system disc goes. I think you have to use it downstairs. Another level. And then we have to do the thing where we write the card key with a barcode or something, like a scanner or something like that, so we can put it in the water part. 
that'll enable us to work the water puzzle, and then we work the water puzzle, and that gives us something else, I think, but I don't remember what. I hear you, you little bastard. Question is, where are you, cameraman? Cameraman. Quick turn. Or unquick turn in this case. Get the fuck down from there, you little shit. Asshole. Have a newfound hatred for those things now. Water pollution control device has stopped functioning. It displays an error message. Oh, you know what doesn't display an error message? Two lots of shotgun shells. That's what. How many? 200? 1,000? 147. That's good enough. Look at that. Nice round numbers. Brilliant. Yeah, we need that barrel later for hunters, don't we? Because hunters come in this room at some point, I remember. At least I'm pretty sure they do. Whoa! 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 Evil little shits. Fucking pure evil. Pure fucking evil. That's what I fucking thought. Asshole. Stay the fuck down. Dick. Fucking hate the hunters in these old ones. They suck. Absolute bastards. They can kill you with that insta kill. Forehead. They can kill you with the insta kill, by the way. Idiot. Oh yeah, save room, fuck yeah. Alright, that's nice. What is that? Give me that. Can I have? Can I have? Oh, I'm not close to it. I see. Security manual. Security of the plant. Since this plant is a facility under the disguise of a deserted factory, civilians will sometimes enter. If this should occur, do not hesitate to shoot them. If they choose to surrender, arrest and then transfer them to the laboratory as new guinea pigs. Well, damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? You will be rewarded. Maintenance of the device. This entire plant is controlled by an epidemic prevention system. Yeah, a lot of good that did. When contamination is detected in the treatment room or decomposed specimen pool, the plant will automatically be locked down for isolation. In that case, you must follow the manual to unlock it. If the contamination is over the limit, the whole system will automatically lock down. Then you must remain in the plant and wait for subsequent orders. Those who leave the facility without permission will serve for extreme consequences. That's why you don't work for the evil fucking corrupt bad guys, right? Yeah, we have to take the water sample. That's really important, I remember. We need that for the water puzzle that I was talking about a little bit earlier. And then I think this is a one-way door that goes down a set of stairs. Yeah. Let's go see if I remember right. No zombies? Brilliant. Look at all the lots of fucking gunpowder. Holy crap. 10 million and a fucking F8. Brilliant. Alright, I'm honestly probably going to leave those B because I don't think I need them at this point. I will take the F8, though. I probably will need that. Alright, now, here's the thing with the water puzzle I was talking about. I fucking hate this. 